Hello everybody, welcome to Proline's Deliciousness from the World of Art. The protagonist of this episode is Tobia Rava, born in Padua in 1959, but a lifelong resident in Venice. Tobia Rava is of Jewish descent and his family achieved a notable recognition at the time of the Risorgimento. Initially, he indulges his interest in economic sciences, but at the same time also concentrates on finer arts. In particular, he is passionate about graphic art, starting his studies in Venice before completing them in Urbino. In the end, art remains his greatest priority. He enrolls at Dams in Bologna, where he has the privilege to attend the courses of Umberto Eco, Flavio Caroli. Importantly, Tobia Rava opens up an in-depth research into the relationship between art and psychology. He is a co-founder of the Ancarte magazine. His master's thesis on semiotics of art deals with prohibition in Jewish visual arts. His early paintings mostly involve the use of graphic elements that stems from the concept of morphology electrostructures. This concept is widely developed at the beginning of the 20th century due to the fact that electricity was becoming a necessity in everyday life. It is therefore considered the origin of Art Nouveau. During the 80s, Tobia Rava begins to incorporate works in to his paintings. Those years can be labeled as the years of the American graffiti artists introduced to Italian art lovers by Francesca Alinovi and graffiti aesthetics has increasingly become part of mainstream culture. But for Tobia Rava, a scholar of Jewish mysticism, what is seminal is that words and numbers associated to the represented world soon take on a new meaning. First of all, in 19 in 1993, he founds the Triplani group, whose name is taken from the hypothesis of the third level of symbolic reading alongside those of the signifier and the signified. In 1996, following the fire at Venice's La Fenice Opera House, his artistic career reaches a turning point. Tobia Rava undergoes a kind of illumination. As a fervent reader of the Kabbalah, he conceives the universe as a realm inundated with words and numbers. Let's take a moment to reflect on this idea. The Kabbalah, first and foremost, is a method of interpreting the Jewish biblical text. It gains in importance, especially in Europe, over the period from the 12th to the 17th century. Strictly speaking, according to Isaac Luria, the founder of modern Kabbalah, at the dawn of the universe, there was only God. With the creation, the universe, represented by ten vessels, is flooded with divine knowledge, but to such an extent that it exceeds the capacity. This leads to a catastrophe represented by the shattering of seven of these vessels, the shafts of which have since buried and hidden the light enclosed in them. According to Isaac Luria, this crisis was to be followed by the decisive messianic moment of the rectification process called Tikkun, through which men would be able to free definitively the sparks of knowledge from the ruins. For this reason, the fire at La Fenice Opera House profoundly impressed Tobia Rava. He legitimately associates this event with the scattering of divine light. As an artist, Tobia Rava sustains that he has a mission to gather these sparks and pass them on to his fellow men in the hope of fulfilling a common journey, a journey of both individual and collective accomplishment. What's more, Tobia Rava adheres to Gematria, a method in the Kabbalah used to probe the numerical value of Hebrew works. For instance, Father in Hebrew is Av and has a numerical value of 3, while a Mother is M and has a value of 41. So, by adding 3 to 41, we have 44, which is assigned to Yelet, meaning child. To sum up, the universe contains works, and works contain numbers that, once placed in the correct ratio, can bring to light the hidden meanings of the primordial world. The painting I'm presenting you showcases Tobia Rava artistic concerns. 
words is entitled the values of the soul, the words are constructed using the geometrical values of the five levels of the soul according to the Kabbalah. Among the trees, we notice numerical values, their corresponding concepts, and other ways sharing the same geometrical values. Therefore, we have, for example, Nefesh, the lower level of man or the material desires, with a numerical value of 430. Ruach, 214, refers to the middle soul or moral virtues. Neshama, 395, refers to the unity or the awareness of the presence of God. These concepts don't sound simple at all. Tobia Rava's work is both fascinating and elaborate. He invites us to look to nature as a source of symbols and of hidden meanings that can be revealed only through meticulous and rigorous practice. With the same passion, Tobia Rava, together with the art critic Maria Luisa Trevisan, commits himself to promoting Pakdes, the meeting center for people from diverse cultural backgrounds. Gaining widespread popularity as an artist and as a cultural operator, Tobia Rava puts forth his belief that only through great endeavors and endless research can we enjoy the created world to the fullest and attain universal harmony. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Prolims, Deliciousness from the World of Art.